What's going on, folks? JJ here. Uh, today's video is about Lewis Kasman and Sammy the Bull Gravano and the similarities they do have here on YouTube and in social media. Now, I'm basing this off news reports, whether it be television, video, newspaper, you know, online articles and interviews on YouTube and if they have a YouTube channel. Now, we know Sammy's got a YouTube channel. Lewis Kasman doesn't, but Lewis is doing interviews now. So I'm basing everything that I'm fixing to say off that. But before I get into it, if you're new to the channel, if you've been here before and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please take a moment of your time, go right down below, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. So when I do drop a video, YouTube will let you know. Here we go. Now you look at Lewis Kasman and Sammy Gravano and you say, how in the hell do you say these two guys have got anything in common? Well, it's obvious that one is from the streets and the other is just a cushion boy. I mean, he was, he was a, he, you know, he, he was okay. I mean, he wasn't a thug, wasn't a street guy. You know, Lewis wasn't all that. Sammy Gravano, course being a made member was start came out as associate made member consigliere underboss and captain i forgot to throw that in there lewis on the other hand was just an associate was a money guy uh lewis kasman was the leo gets of the gambino family whatever you wanted lewis gets but with them being so different they do have a lot of things in common Here's what they have in common. If you go look at Sammy's videos, read his book, do his interviews. The similarity that he has with Lewis here is he always plays the hero. He's always right about everything and everybody else was wrong. Lewis has done the same thing in his two interviews with Jeff Nadeau. Everybody was wrong and Lewis was right. Lewis was always saving the day. Sammy was always saving the day. That's one thing. They have in common. Two, John Gotti. We know that when Sammy flipped on John Gotti, he was the icing on the cake. Now, Sammy alone didn't put away John Gotti. John Gotti, while being secretly recorded at the Ravenite, put himself away by admitting to giving the okay on murders. Sammy went and told the prosecution, say, hey, listen, you want to get this guy? We bought the juries. We did. We we rigged the jury. That was a slam dunk on against John Gotti. Go listen to John Gleason. John Gleason said they really didn't need Sammy for John Gotti or for them to put John Gotti away. They pretty much had it hook, line, and sinker. Sammy was the icing on the cake. They just needed Sammy for other cases against other Gambino members and other members of the five families. Louis Kasman, after getting pinched and what, doing six to seven months, decides to become an informant for the government. What does he do? He visits John Gotti in prison, is taking notes, getting all the information, supplying it back to the feds on how John Gotti was running the family from prison. What happened? John Gotti gets put in solitary confinement. I mean, he's supposed to be a John Gotti's adopted son. He betrayed him, just like Sammy. Sammy betrayed John. Now, a lot of people can say, well, hey, you know, John Gotti betrayed Sammy by being on tape. Listen, knuckleheads. John Gotti did not know he was being recorded. John Gotti was talking to Frank Lucasio, who was the acting underboss of the Gambino family. They're having administrative discussions. That happens a lot in the corporate world. John was saying, this is what Sammy was doing. He's telling his side of the story. And trust me, folks, if it wasn't for those Rave Not type tapes, we would not know John's side of the story. Okay, so both, one put John, help John get John, put, one helped put John in, in prison, the other one helped put him in solitary confinement. They both turned on John Gotti. Lewis took it a little step further. 
by wearing a wire and talking to the widow of John Gotti after she'd had a stroke, trying to get information. Here's another thing they have similarity in or have something in common with is the fact that Sammy Gravano got to keep the most of his money after he flipped on John Gotti. Louis Kasman got paid 144k a year by the government to wear wire not only with John but with John's family even family members that wasn't involved he took another step further he tried to jam up two Gambino lawyers one while a trial was going on concerning John Jr. they both don't like John Jr. too much okay Sammy goes to Arizona, gets involved in an ecstasy ring with his kids. Louis Kasman allegedly stole his daughter's college fund, 250000 I think that was the number. Stole it. Never paid it back. Like I said, they both play the hero in their stories that they tell. They have both been known to exaggerate, stretch the truth, and some and some other stories some they tell the truth in some they stretch the truth in when things go wrong it's everybody else's fault but theirs sammy plays that lewis plays that it everybody's fault everybody's lying on them everybody's doing something towards them when they get caught and called out it's everybody else's fault so i think they have a lot more in common than they want to admit to and that comes from the you know from have that diva complex, except it's a male version of it, both of them. Personally, I think if they've had any misunderstandings and beef, I think what they should do is mend the fences, bury the hatchet, figuratively speaking, and do a show together. Do some content together, because they would be perfect with each other. But it's not going to happen, because you have two personalities that are so much alike and the only difference is, is one's from the street and the other one isn't. But they have the same mentality, the same, the same diviness, as you, as you would want to say. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go right down in the comment section below. Leave a comment. Do you think these two have a lot more in common than people think? What do you think? If you want to support this channel. Uh, you can do so by subscribing, hitting the like button, leaving a comment. It helps with the algorithm. <clears throat> if you want to help financially with this channel, I do have a Cash App. I do have a Venmo. I do have a PayPal. I do have a link to where you can buy me a cup of coffee. Any support would be greatly appreciated. And with that being said, I'm fixing to head out. So remember, folks, when it comes to making this world a better place, doing the right thing helping others out even if it's in a small way try it it does work and you'll feel a lot better about it bye bye then he started he was up my ass every two minutes